Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this particular video, I am going to demonstrate you the Hadoop commands that you must know, which will make your life easy working with Hadoop and big data. Okay. So what you can see here is my Unix box guys. In my last video, I had shown you how do you install Hadoop on your Unix box. Okay. Now, one thing to be very clear about is what is the difference between HDFS and your local system. So in your local system, this is my Linux box. Okay. And this is my local machine. In my local machine, there are many folders like documents, downloads, music, new directory. All these folders are there in my local machine. Okay. But this is different from HDFS. HDFS is Haroop distributed file system, which means the Haroop installation will have those files. Okay. Now, if I want to put one file from my local to Hadoop, how do I do that? And if I want to get one file from Hadoop to local, how do we do that? Those things we will see in this video. Before that, you should also understand it is a one node cluster. Hence, everything will be sitting on this computer physically. But if it is a multi node cluster, for example, 100 computers in a Hadoop cluster, then HDFS, when you put a file, it will be stored in any of those machine physically. Okay. Having said that, let us see some of the basic commands in Hadoop guys. So first of all, I had created a user HDOOP, if you remember, that is my Hadoop user and hence Hadoop will run through this user only. Okay. Now I am here. So now let us try to run some basic Hadoop commands. For example, HDFS, DFS, minus LS. So what is this command? This command will give me a list of all the files present in Hadoop. Remember for Hadoop, all the commands will start with HDFS standing for Hadoop distributed file system. Okay. Let me say enter. When I say enter, it will give me all the files present in the root directory of my HDFS. So if you remember, this is the file I had moved last day, guys, I had moved other day this file. Okay. So that is the reason this file is here. Now, how do I create a new directory in this particular home directory of Hadoop? So I will say HDFS DFS minus MKDIR. Okay. And I will say new directory. Let me see if it creates a new directory or it gives any error. If it is creating a new directory, then in LS, it should show me, right? So a new directory is getting created. Now, how do I change the permission on this directory guys? So you know that permission is very important in Hadoop or Unix based machines, right? This is the permission part guys. So this file among demo touch file.txt is having read, write, execute permission. This is also having read, write, execute permission for the owner, but not for other users, this directory. Let me try changing the permission. So how do I change the permission? I can say HDFS minus DFS. Uh, ch hdfs dfs hdfs dfs minus chmod chmod triple seven and this new directory what i want is i want to change the permission of this new directory so that any user can read and write on this directory okay all these things are very important from production point of view guys okay if you work in a real time project these things will be very very important now let us see what is the permission on this file. So as you can see, previously there were two dash here. Dash means write and execute permission was not there. Okay. But now all the permissions have been given to this file, right? Now let us say, I want to create a new file inside this new directory. So what I will do, I will say HDFS, DFS, TUACH, touch. Touch means I'm just creating a new file aman new file dot txt where i want to create it in this directory okay so i will say paste let us see if it is creating a new file guys it says new directory is a directory okay so how i should write here is new directory inside this new directory i want to create a file right so i should say like this aman new file aman new file dot txt okay i'm running this command let us see if this is getting created guys and 
if this is created then inside this new directory i should see this file right so hdfs dfs minus ls and new directory right new directory so uh, inside new directory you can see that this file is present aman new text okay now how do i see the content of this file guys if i want to see the content how do i see that let me see that file one time here from ls this is my file inside new directory this okay so hdfs dfs minus cat and this path okay copy this path from here copy and paste it here okay so what it will show you is the content of that now there is nothing that is an empty file so it will not show you anything as of now okay because that file does not has anything what if i want to copy this file from my haroop to local machine in my local machine there are different folders right for example there are downloads documents these things right what if i want to copy this file from haroop to my local hdfs dfs minus get which file i want to copy this file so source file path let me paste here source source file path let me paste here source file path this is my source file where i want to copy this file let us say in home aman downloads downloads okay so look at this command carefully guys hdfs dfs get get means i am getting the file from hdfs to my local okay enter this command is running so what what will happen is in my in my downloads folder i will see this file aman new file dot txt okay so let me go to my downloads i will see this new file aman new file dot txt this is the file we copied now okay if you want to put something from your local to hadoop then you you do using put command for example hdfs dfs put local file okay and hdfs path okay i am just giving you a pseudo code here this is how you put from your local machine to hadoop okay these two commands are very very important many times you will use these two commands this is up to copy paste i mean getting your file to local and pushing your file from local to hadoop now chmod you saw there are some of the commands which tells you how much of your hadoop space is getting used how much how, how is your cluster performing there are many things like that so for example you can say hdfs dfs admin okay dfs admin report so what it will do is it will tell you how much of disk space is getting utilized how much of disk space is getting unutilized how much is getting replicated all those information you can see here okay you see dfs remaining 49 gb dfs used all these things dfs remaining 78.42% these things will be given by this command okay this is basically a admin command which means this is admin, uh, in admin activities they use these commands okay what are some of the other things that you should know here guys okay, let us try creating one more directory and we can say hdfs dfs mkdir a new directory i am trying to create here inside root only i will say new dir2 okay new dir2 now if i do a hdfs dfs minus ls new dir2 should be shown let me change the permission of new dir2 quickly how do i do that hdfs dfs chmod 777 and new dir2 okay so paste permission will be changed for this directory now suppose the file which we had created in new new directory that file i want to copy in new dir2 what i am telling here is copying inside hdfs copying from one directory to other directory how do you do that hdfs dfs minus cp let us say for example i want to copy this file only aman demo text file okay so copy and paste and where i want to copy this inside new dir right so copy and paste and inside new dir okay 
Now let us see if that file is copied in this new directory. HDFS DFS minus LS new DIR2. Okay. New DIR2. So that, that file should be present here if the copy was successful. As you can see, this file was present here. Okay. So this is how you copy inside Haroop from one folder to other folder. Okay. Let us say I want to remove a folder. How do I do that? All these commands you will find very similar to Linux commands guys. But there are little differences that you should be aware of. For example, I can say HDFS DFS minus RM. Okay. And then paste. So RM, I am trying to remove this directory. Let us see if this works. It should say it is a directory. Yeah, it is saying it is a directory. So you can remove a file like this using rm command, not a directory. If you want to remove directory and all the contents in the directory, you should say rmr, okay? So if you say rmr, it will delete this directory. So now you will not find the new dir2 inside Hadoop's home directory. That is how you remove a directory from the HDFS, okay? Change permission we have seen. Hadoop version you can see like this. Hadoop V R S I O N. It will show you which, which version of Hadoop you are running. All these things, right? Disk usage, how much of one file is using your disk? For example, in my home, there is one directory, right? In this directory, let me show you one time. How much of space this particular directory is consuming, new directory? If I want to see that, HDFS, DFS minus DU. DU stands for disk uses. How much of disk is getting used by this directory paste okay so there is there is one file which is empty inside this directory hence it is not using any space as of now okay so that is where it is not using if you say hdfs fsck fsck it just checks health of your hadoop cluster okay so it will take you it will tell you how much is getting consumed how is the health it says in the end this, this directory root is healthy healthy means how the space utilization is done how the is the blocks are corrupted if the blocks are working fine all these things information it will give you okay so these are some of the basic unix uh, hadoop command guys that you should know and you know that that will be very helpful for you when you work in a real time project we will keep discussing more on these commands as i move on to other components of Haroop, for example, Hive and all these components, right? So try out these commands, guys. If you face any issues, let me know. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Till then, stay safe and take care.